Good evening, YouTube. It's Casual Brews back with another craft beer review. Today we're going to be reviewing um, the first American beer that I've done. Uh, I picked this one up from the Legacy Liquor Store in Vancouver, kind of close to downtown, like downtown East Van kind of area um, near Main Street. Um, Great place, a lot of craft craft beers. My first time there. Um, I don't get downtown often as much as I used to before the pandemic, but just in the area, dealing with uh, dealing with a couple things, and so I stopped by on the way. I heard I'd heard they had a good selection there, so I stopped by, and sure enough, they did had a lot of a lot of good stuff there. So I picked this one up in particular. They have a huge selection of single cans, which is awesome. Um, so I grabbed this one here. It's um, from Portland, Oregon. Um, it is the, from the Ecliptic Brewing Company. See, just a tiny little mark here. Yes, I know it's backwards still. I gotta figure out how to, yeah, eventually I got a camera, so I'm not recording my phone and, you know, but, uh, so it's from Ecliptic Brewing in Portland. It's their Vega IPA series. Um, it says IPA number 10, so I guess... They have a series of this IPA, different, um, yeah, maybe different ones under this Vega series that they have here. I haven't done any research, sorry. I'm just reviewing based off of, like, sheer, oh, wow, like, sure surprise. I'm not going to dive in and try to spoil my first reaction. So just the Vega IPA series, IPA number 10. See how she goes. I have no idea about anything about this brewery. I don't know if it's well reputable in Portland and US if it's a popular brewery or whatnot I just saw it it stood out to me the can this kind of sleek little black can stood out to me in their uh single single beer cooler they had there they had a ton I picked up a few I'll probably be doing um a couple more reviews of some of the ones that I bought there the other day so yeah so this is the first one I'll be reviewing from those beers that I bought the other day single cans so here we go it does say it's hazy with grapefruit grapefruit puree nelson sauvin and pacifica hops i can't see i've heard of nelson sauvin or pacifica hops before it's not like it's like citra or mosaic or like some of the you know more commonly see. Holy, very sedimenty. A lot of, uh, I should have swirled, well, it doesn't really matter, but I'll swirl the bottom before I pour the rest. I'll swirl this up a bit so I can, but yeah, very, um, yeah, that's a mark of a real, real strong, heavily hop flavored IPA. A lot of, a lot of sediment in the in the glass. Probably can't really see, but I just tell by how like opaque the color is. You can't even you cannot see through this at all. Can't really get a good smell of it. I kind of have, out have allergies right now, but. Let's try it. I might take a couple of sips because I was eating some sweets earlier. So my palate probably needs a couple of sips to really reset itself. I mean, the flavor profile doesn't really, like, hit you so hard. Um, it's more of a mild... I get I get a bit of that grapefruit. I really do. Um, it's not like a really, like, strong, citrus, juicy taste like some of your 
hazy IP as you find out here. Um, it's not getting a ton of flavor notes like I usually get from an IPA. I've never, I haven't really had many proper IPAs from the States, so I don't know what to expect really, but. The more I drink it, the more I get a little more of that flavor. It's, it's more subtle though. It's definitely, it's good though. It's smooth. You know, it doesn't really knock your socks off with flavor like Let's say like the Twin Sales, like Juice Plus, or, you know, like the Juice Box I just reviewed, or um, it's just some of the more like heavy IPAs, like I think like the Four Winds IPA, like really just strong, strong flavor. Some more subtle, um, but it's still good. It's still smooth, and I can definitely get like a, the background of like the, the grapefruit flavor really comes through. Especially on the aftertaste. This is good. I love I love grapefruit, so it's it's, it's a nice little you know, washes down. It's uh I don't know if it has the IB it's a six point five percent ABV. Um IBUs are not on there, I don't think. Um Yeah, I mean it's solid. It's solid. Um So the more I, the more I drink it, I get a little, it's, it's like a, has a lot of the same flavors that I'm used to, but they're just a little more subtle, which honestly on some occasions can be fine. Like sometimes, you know, it definitely makes it a little more easy drinking. It's like a good, probably a good like summery beer just out in the patio or something. It's hot as fuck and you just want to have an easy drinking IPA. <laughs> Those two don't go together always, but, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's very smooth, very solid. Doesn't blow me away by any stretch, but I do like it. It's really definitely if they're going to work for to, like, Pick up on the flavors. It doesn't like just come at you like really strong like some of the IPAs that I've had up in good old BC. But you know, this is solid. It, it's really smooth. It, it's smooth in the palate after. There's no like no bitterness, no nothing negative to really say. The only thing I can just say is that I would have expected a little more of a complex flavor profile, but it's still really good. Um, I'll wrap it up. I'm feeling a. 7.2, 7.2, good score by all accounts, um, yeah, not bad at all, um, just not as flavorful as I would have wanted, I don't know, but for a lot of people, that's probably what they, they don't really need a ton of flavor, I mean, it's a beer for crying out loud, like, you don't, you don't need, you're not, it's not like you're drinking, like, a $50 bottle of wine, you want like, all these flavors, you're just drinking a beer, right, so... For a lot of people, it's this is would be what they want, you know. I love my heavy IPAs. I love my heavy hazy hazy IPAs, hazy pale ales, heavy flavor. It doesn't have a lot of the heavy flavor, but shit, it's pretty good still. So seven point two out of ten. That's a solid score, I think. Still, um, once again, that's from Ecliptic Brewing in Portland, Oregon, U.S. of A. Their Vega IPA series number 10. So let's review, and I'll be back hopefully not too long with another review from one of the few, one of the several uh, single cans of beer I picked up from Legacy Liquor Store in Vancouver. So until next time, cheers. <laughs>